I'm done crying. My sadness is over. My anger has set in. I am a very petty person, and... Why is every person has these nose rings? I've never seen a person that had one of these and there wasn't something wrong with them. I am very proud of that. Love it about myself, actually. And so, I say this in the most disrespectful way possible. I don't care if you are my family. I don't well, care if you are my friend. I don't care if we've been friends our entire lives. You can literally go fuck yourself if you voted for Donald Trump. Well, if you are so sad about your groceries being expensive, get a better fucking paying job. They just can't stop losing. We're not losing enough. We need to lose even more. Get a fucking education. Do something. Because you are fucking stupid. And I hope you go jump off of a fucking bridge. Oh, man. Uh, what is the lesson that your party should have learned? The Democratic Party worked very hard, and uh, they raised, you know, substantial sum of money. We had great candidates, and so uh, Trump had a following, uh, basically generally led by whites. White males voted. Uh they can't stop. It's just what I said like yesterday. They literally cannot stop doing it. In big numbers, he had a few uh, from uh, the other uh, race groups uh, the others that joined mm -hmm. in like the Latinos at 45 percent and That's black men at about the same rate uh, that mm -hmm. they did uh, when they voted for him before at about 20 percent that combination won and so it is not that Democrats did not work hard did not do mm -hmm. a great job we had an it's that we hate women. Well, if that's true, why'd you run a woman? If you actually think that everybody hates women, why would you run a woman? Unusual situation where we had a black woman, uh, which this country right. has never seen before. A combination of all of those things mm -hmm. led to his win. Mm. See, here's how you know that that's not really what they believe. Because if they genuinely believe that Kamala Harris was disqualified because she was a black woman, they wouldn't have run her. They don't actually think this. They're just coming up with excuses for why they lost cannot have believed that it would be easy to elect mm -hmm. a woman president let alone a woman of color mm -hmm. let's just be clear mm -hmm. and nothing that was true yesterday about how flawlessly this campaign was run is not true now she had queen latifah never endorses anyone queen latifah and other prominent celebrities endorsing her this is the qualifying statement about whether the campaign was run well or not what she had the Taylor Swift, she had the Swifties, she had the Beehive. Like, you could not have run a better yeah. campaign. And I think we have to be blunt about nope. why. Black voters came through for Kamala Harris. White women. They just can't, they can't let it go. It's not just misogyny from white men. It's misogyny from Hispanic men. Right. It's misogyny from black men. Things we've all right. been talking about. They just can't let it go. We lost because all these racist Mexicans. Listen to your fucking self. Do not want a woman leading them. Might be race issues with Hispanics. They don't want a black woman as president of the United States. You know, they, they every everything is looked at through this lens. I don't think they're capable of stopping. Everything is about this. You and I have talked about this before. A lot of Hispanic voters have yeah. problems with black candidates. Right. A, a lot and of with other Hispanics. Have, you got some. And Exactly. That don't like each other. And, right. and some of the most misogynist things I've heard came from black men. I mean, misogynist things. So you're yeah. absolutely right. And we've right. got to have real honest conversations about it. Real so, honest conversations. Oh honest conversations about which group of minorities can we blame? Is it black people's fault? Is it men's fault? Latinos fault? Gay people? Is it gay people's fault? Probably their fault too. Who are we going to blame?